we're out here in Tokyo trying to find the best sake. And we're gonna try some shoshu too because we heard that that's really popular here and even more popular than sake now. Let's get out of the rain and head to Lawson's, a convenience store. Where we're gonna try our first sake. We are grabbing some sake from Lawson's where you just translated it and we're gonna pick out the ones that say sake. So we got this one and this one. I have no idea if these are high quality or not, but we're gonna go give them a try. I just like the way that this one looks. I feel so silly drinking it right out of the bottle. I know this is weird. I've only had sake for the first time a few days ago at a ramen restaurant, so we'll give it a try. Ooh. Okay, it tastes very similar to the one that we had the other day. There's not a ton of flavor, but I feel like, I don't know if it's because I know that it's made with rice, but I feel like I can taste like a little bit of rice in it. Not in a bad way, like in a good way. It's a very refreshing, crisp flavor. If I were to rate this one, I would give it probably seven out of 10. I'm a big fan and it was only like three or four US dollars. I think it was 410 yen for this whole thing. So that's pretty good. I'm learning so much about sake just from reading this. Well, I have to translate it, but I'm just like translating all of this and I'm learning that this is Yamada Nishiki rice. And according to the company that makes this, it's the most suitable rice for sake brewing. It's just a high quality and gentle aroma. So why don't we give it a try? So very smooth. And it says that uh, it was manufactured in March of 2023 and it says it's good for up to one year. So I guess you could just drink some of it and then put it back in your fridge. We like to uh, drink it cold, which most alcoholic beverages cold, but you can also drink sake hot, which we'll definitely try later on in the day. It is time to try the next sake. This one has a rice polishing ratio of 45 and we read that the higher the rice polishing ratio, the better it's supposed to be. And this one had a rice polishing ratio of 65% so it should this one should be a little better quality but I'm not gonna judge yet oh this kind of tastes like grape almost I can definitely taste the difference I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to tell differences but I definitely can I don't know which one I like better though no I think this one's better this one just like, you can taste the alcohol more. It like burns a little bit, whereas like this one was super smooth. And just cause we needed a little bit of food, I decided to grab these and they're actually rice crackers. And so we're just having a whole rice day. Pretty good, pretty salty. Doesn't taste anything like sake. This one is from Kyoto, Japan, which we are definitely going to visit there pretty soon. So I was really looking forward to this, but when Jenny said she didn't love it that much, I got a little disappointed, but of course we'll have to see. It definitely has that different flavor. It's like almost a little bit sweeter. I like both of them. They're about like 15% alcohol content each. I think this one's 15%, uh, the other one's 14.5. I would definitely drink both. I already said this one is a seven out of 10. I'm gonna give this one like a five out of 10. I really like this one a lot more than I like this one. We'll just see where the day takes us and see if I find one better than this. We went back and looked and the one that we liked the most was actually less expensive. I'm wondering if we just like got it in our heads that the rice polishing ratio was gonna make it taste better and that's why we thought so. I don't know. So we're going right now to a restaurant to go try out hot sake. And it's raining really hard so we're gonna have to run. <laughs> We walked like five minutes in the rain. We had to run here. We're still pretty wet, but we got some hot sake to try. We've never tried it hot before. This bottle is like, it's hard to even touch. Okay, I don't even know how I'm gonna pour it into this little cup. Ah, look at that steam. Can you see that? Nope, not at all. <laughs> well, there's lots of steam coming off of it. I feel like it's gonna be really hard to drink. Whoa. You can taste the flavors so much more when it's hot. It's just like more intense, I think, but it's perfect because it's rainy outside. It's just, I love it. It definitely stings your tongue a little bit more. 
I'm trying to think where this rates to the ones that we got earlier today. Honestly, it's pretty good. I would say like seven or eight out of 10. I think the longer that the hot sake sits in this cup, the hotter it gets to hold. I personally prefer just cold beverages in general. And so when I try this, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's hot, but it definitely like makes sense if it's like a lot colder outside to be drinking something that's hot. I really enjoy this. I do think I like the other ones just a little bit better though. We also got a little bit of food just to soak up some of the sake and of course we had to get gyoza. And we got a sochu sake cocktail oolong tea. So I'll give it a try now. Whoa, it's not sweet at all. I can definitely taste the sochu in it. I can definitely taste the tea. It's very interesting. It's very refreshing. I think I like this better than just like plain sake because there's a little bit of like extra flavors in it. This is a fun cocktail. The reason why we were so set on getting shochu today is because we read that it is getting much more popular among the Japanese people here. There used to be over 4,000 uh, like sake breweries in Japan and now there's only about 1,000 because I think a lot of people are making stuff like this. It's a lot more mild. It like hardly tastes like alcohol at all. I've never even had like oolong tea either, so I was just like, I didn't even know what to expect. This is like, you can definitely tell there's some alcohol in there, but you can just drink it like tea. Might be a little bit dangerous that way. We ran through the rain to another restaurant where we're getting some sochu, and also we ordered a plate of curry rice. got some sochu. It says barley 25% Nikado. I honestly have no idea what we ordered. We just pointed. We got it with soda water too. This one tastes exactly like beer. We also got a sweet potato one with soda. Smells different. Oh, whoa. It is so different. Okay. I really like the barley one, honestly. Let's see what Jacob likes. I guess it does make sense that the barley one would taste like beer. Now the uh, sweet potato one, that sounds really interesting. I'm not a huge sweet potato fan. I'll give it a try. I like it. Yeah, it's good. I uh, actually did have a sip of the barley one. I think I like this one. Yeah, they taste so different. I think I like this one better, but like, it doesn't really taste like sweet potato. Maybe a very mild hint of it, but that's about it. We got it with soda water. The menu says that we could get it with ice or with water, hot water or soda. So we just went with soda. Cheers. Chug, 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 chug. Finish it. Oh, oh. Yeah! Nice job. All right, your turn. Chug the miso, chug the miso. Yeah, I still got a lot left. I went from never drinking or eating sweet potato to having to chug this whole thing. Chug, 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 chug. Will he do it? Will he do it? Oh, wow, you're doing it. Oh, you didn't That's do it. That's really cold. There's so much ice in there. Is he gonna do it? Oh, oh, he did it! Wow. Kind of like it that way, chugging it <laughs> instead of just sipping it. Actually, me too. <laughs> we are too wet. We are completely soaked. Jenny really liked the last one with the barley, the shochu, and I kind of like the very first one that we tried of the sake. But of course, like I really like the cocktails with the oolong tea. That one, that one was solid. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we are gonna try way more sake and shochu because we have plenty more Japan videos on the way. So make sure to stay tuned and click on the playlist if you want to see more.